Hi, we are Access Rock. I am Dave, and today I get to talk to Jeffrey Walsh. Shouldn't you be speaking in Swedish? Uh, yeah, no. maybe I should. Yeah, hey, no. <laughs> uh, you heard Dave. <laughs> det här är Access Rock. Mm-hmm. Idag pratar vi med. Are you Swedish? Good? No. I need two <laughs> phrases, and I'm not saying them. Really? One involves a goat, and one involves a dog. Ouch! <laughs> ouch! You can thank my game up for teaching me that. Thank your what? You can thank my game up for teaching me that. Okay. You're in uh, Stockholm, Sweden, mm-hmm. uh, playing tonight at Arenan with uh, Amanda Marth and Hell. How is this tour? Is it's it good. Very really good. Very good. Fun. That's what it should always be about. Fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I had actually a photographer and uh, and a writer yesterday at the show, and he said you were the best. What? Uh, can in I remember Malmö. 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 In Malmö. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, that's very nice of them. He said you were kings. <laughs> well, partisan <laughs> partisan politics, isn't it? So I'm sure Monomath fans think Monomath are the best. So it's all uh, it's all relative, isn't it? So. Okay, okay. But you're actually getting used to great reviews right now, right? Because uh, Surgical Steel is nominated as well. It's that must mean it. That must mean it sucks. Then that must mean it sucks. Really? Good reviews do not make a good album. No. We've never had good reviews. It's always, we've always been hated. So I'd rather be on the outside, you know, disliked yeah. than you know. There'll be a backlash otherwise, you know. Are you expecting it? Mm. Hoping for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, want to, don't want to sell records. No? No, we're getting good reviews and that's cool. Because I also saw you, uh, there were some bad reviews in the beginning and I saw you posted it on Facebook and kind of like made fun of it. Well, I like bad reviews. It, a, good re- a bad review is good as long as it's well written, you know? Okay. I, I, I think reviews that are just sycophantic and just without substance, uh, just, it's just annoying. Uh, a a well written critique is good. It's better than having your ass kissed for no reason, you know? Of people who don't know what they're talking about. Okay. But people are actually talking about this record before it was released as it's killer and it's huge. How would they know if it wasn't released? Uh, well, people <laughs> in the industry it maybe then. Because it, it leaked, didn't it? Because so. there is a big difference in the music in- industry from when you released your, uh, well, the record before this and now. And what would that be then? What would that be? Mm-hmm. The big difference? Yeah. Well, all the digital distribution and distribution. Well, yeah. Yeah, but in the old days, people got cassettes, so it's not much difference, you know? People got okay. advanced tapes. You know, good records still sell. I mean, Avenged Sevenfold aren't complaining. They sold 150,000 albums in the first week. Five Finger Death Punch. I'm not saying that they're good, that's good music, but bands can still sell records, you know? If you sell them to Christians or the military, then you can still shift good units, you know? Okay. But you sold good first week. We did okay. Also. This was your first we, we can't, we the can't, billboard. We can't crack the Christian market, that's the problem. That's where the real money's at, you know? The Christian It's market. true. Okay. Yeah. The you can laugh, but that, why, why do you think these American bands sell so well? I mean, parents want to have wholesome music for their kids, so, you know, some nice, uh, well-washed metal band's going to be successful in the States, you know? Not bands like us. We're you're, not. We're not washed. You're, you're pretty we're not far dream. from yeah. washed. Do you actually pursue that? Is that no. just let's? No. No, you can't pursue anything. You can only do what you want and follow your heart. You know, um, we're not capable of being so shallow, and we don't want to appeal to the lowest common denominator. You know, so uh, that's why all that good, all the good reviews and all the positive stuff you're talking about is uh, dangerous. You know. Because we've always been a cult band, you know? And that's why, for example, touring with the Modern Mars, it's really difficult for us to win their fans. We win some, but we can't win all their fans because it's, it's uh, a different mentality, their audience, you know? Um, yeah, let's leave it at that. Because this package with Hell, Carcass and Modern Mars, it's, it's a pretty different kind of... But I think that's good, isn't it? I mean, uh, how boring is it to hear four bands that sound the same in one concert? True. But then it's very, uh, pr- probably the third time I've used this word, it's very partisan. People, you're going to have Hell fans come in just to see Hell, and they'll have 
Carcass fans, like your friend, just coming to see Carcass and not giving the other bands a chance. I mean, we've come across many people on this tour who are just turning up deliberately on time to miss Hell, maybe, or to miss Carcass, just to see the band they like. Kind of sad when I was a kid. You'd pay your money and you'd want to see every band, you know? So. Also in Hell, you have uh, Andy Sneap, who has actually been in, well, he's done Surgical Steel. Mm -hmm. uh, are you friends? Yeah. Okay. Probably won't be after this tour. But no? Really? Well, we're sharing a bus, so, no, it's all good, yeah. I know him, his friend, yeah. Is that kind of strange? In no, no, way? because you work if, we weren't, in that way? if we weren't friends, he wouldn't be on that tour bus. No, oh, okay. Because we wouldn't share with anyone, you know. Okay. Because he's a friend, no, we'll cut him some slack and him, him, him and hell slack, you know. Okay. But if it was any other band, they wouldn't be on the bus with us. No. What do you do on tour? Play concerts. Play concerts. That's what you do. Sleep, get up, drink, play a concert, and go to bed. Yeah. Okay. I mean that. Uh, yeah, there's been no, like the distance travel last night. There's no time to do anything, so and I get dragged in to do this um, when I should be relaxing, getting ready for the gig, you know. Okay, so you relax before a gig? No, we don't, because I don't get a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you're travelling distances on the bus, and then you get out, you sound check, and the next you know it's show time, and then before you know it, it's bus call, and off you go again. It's not as exciting. I mean, if there any budding musicians out there, don't do it. Go and join the army or something, you know. Something else for fun. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Well, if you could actually, uh, any other kind of tip for a young aspiring musician, what would you... Uh, what would you Wait for um, the older ones to die off first. The club is pretty busy at the moment. It's a full club, mm. you know. The originators of the music haven't gone away yet, so, uh, you know. <laughs> What advice would I give? I wouldn't give anyone any advice. Just do what you got to do, you know? See, that's the problem with the world. Too much people trying to give other people advice, isn't it? Okay. But being a cult band and you kind of like being an underground band, you signed to Nuclear Blast. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, well, since the record got released, you've been touring more or less constantly, right? Not You've really. Done a lot we're, of festival we're, shows. Yeah, but we're not as we're not as busy hour. as we're not as busy as most bands. We pick and choose what choose what we want to do. I mean, this we did this tour because we'd been we've not toured since '94 in Europe, no. and I I definitely thought it'd be interesting to go out with the Monomath because I knew their album was going to take off, and I think it'd be quite a big tour, you know. Rather than us just playing to three or four hundred people in a, in a night, um, we get to play for it to a couple of thousand. You know, especially in Germany or whatever, so that's more interesting. You know? gotta, uh, gotta keep things interesting. Otherwise you get bored and you pack it in. Uh, well, how do you keep in shape? <laughs> Does it look like I'm in shape? I don't. No? Nope. Okay. That's why I'll be dead about heart attack by 51, so... Got another six more years. <laughs> You've decided this. It's a good age to go. It was good for it's good enough for Joe Strummer, and uh, yeah, why not? So six more years, great. Any other plans? Are you are you the kind of musician who always writes, who always creates? Um, no, um, only when I need to. On demand. Okay. Like Most Netflix. People. Like Netflix. Would you rather go and relax? <laughs> no, I'll just go and get go and be angry because my guitar's not working. What? I think my guitar's packed in. That's why I'm in a funny mood. I'm not funny. So. Packed in. Yeah, packed in. Kapu uh, kaput. Wow. Mm. But is someone fix it? Trying to. But I don't think it's going to happen. So I might have to cancel the show. Come on. <laughs> I know oh. a person who actually. Maybe could fix it? No, if... but there's three people in there who can't fix it, so... Um, Ooh. And, and EB, you... EBS are in the country, but it's a Saturday, so we can't get in touch with them to get the circuit they need to fix it, so... What do you do if if you can't fix your guitar? I'm going to borrow Ted's from uh, Monomast. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Hi, this is uh, Jeff Walker from Carcass, and possibly you're watching Access Rock from Switzerland.